flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. I know last night I didn't talk to y'all as much because I was so tired traveling here. It took me almost a day because Charlotte, they had a storm, all this girl. It was just a lot. But we are here now. I'm on a solo trip, as you guys can see in the title. I did put a video out about a month or two ago about what's been happening with my family and so on and so forth. But I just need some time to decompress by myself and you know i don't want to be on the go and me being me i just like to move to the beat of my own drum honey i like to just vibe out by myself and when i say by myself i'm not talking about without my husband but i'm without my husband in this trip and y'all every time i tell somebody i'm traveling by myself without my husband they're like oh my god you going by yourself how you gonna go to vegas by yourself girl it's not that serious like I like to just, you know, me and my husband, we it's called trust. It's called trust. We trust each other. I'm not out here being doing nothing crazy. He ain't doing nothing crazy. We have a great marriage. It's not perfect, but we are happy and that's all that matters, period. I just need some time to decompress, okay? I wanted this to be like a a time a little vacation for me to just unwind you know self-care vacation thing. i was kind of like burnt out number one with recording and i had booked so many collaborations before everything happened and i had to fulfill them so i was definitely burnt out y'all like in this journey i am like learning how to say no and learning that no is a complete sentence like if i tell you no I don't need to explain myself after that. That's so it's a lot I've been working on. I'm in therapy. I've been in therapy for like almost a year now, but my therapist is amazing. Anyway, we're here in Vegas. I'm staying at the Strat Hotel. Love, love, love it. This room that I got, um, it has two queen beds and it is an updated room when i got here i asked the guy do you guys have any updated rooms and you know he was like well is it your first time coming here i'm like yeah so he you know went ahead and put that in there for free so i'm very thankful but this is amazing i love this room it's clean the only thing i could like complain about if you want to say is that they don't have a hair dryer or blow dryer in here oh, because yeah when i got in yesterday i felt so dirty like i don't know maybe because i was traveling all day but i had to take a shower and wash my hair wash everything and i was like where the damn blow dryer at they ain't got no <laughs> they had no blow dryer y'all i'm sorry if i keep looking at the at the view is so pretty i need to stop and just look at y'all right so yeah but that's the only thing other than that um and they don't have a microwave my husband was like oh they make they make those rooms like that in vegas so you can get out the room and spend money but that's the only thing other than that it's very clean i love all of the updates the lights everything is so modern y'all should definitely um stay here if you want to and i'm definitely going to go upstairs and show you guys the view and all that stuff but i overpacked you guys i overpacked i overpacked because 
I didn't know. I wanted to see how I was going to feel, what mood I was in when I got here. Like, okay, am I in the mood to just be out on the go, you know? Or am I going to be in the mood to just stay in and chill? When I got here, I was like, I'm chilling. It's not none of that going on. So when I tell you guys, I'll probably be wearing two of like the 10 outfits that I brought, <laughs> that I brought here. I could have seriously packed just a carry-on bag and I would have been good. But anyway, y'all, so for today, I think the only plans I have is to go on a strip. I've been to Vegas a few times, so I stayed on a strip. I know basically Vegas, <laughs> okay? That's why I chose to come out here for a... Um, solo trip because I, I know everything I can just stay in I don't have to explore right so I'm going to the strip today and I'm gonna go to this place that I love to eat at it's called Jin Korean barbecue if y'all are out here try it and I just learned that they have one in Jacksonville baby when I get back home I will try it and I'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of raspy this air the altitude everything is just messing with me but yeah, that's what I'll be doing today and everything. I'm just going to play it by ear. And that's why I'm glad I came out here alone because I don't have to be like on the go. Oh, we got to go here at five o'clock. We got to go here at eight o'clock. No, I do everything on my own time, honey. Okay. Okay. But I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. Could be 10 minutes, could be 30 minutes. I don't know. But And also shout out to... Ebony, I don't know if y'all know who Ebony is, but she's amazing. She lives in Jacksonville as well. And I was texting her like, girl, I'm going on vacation. She was like, make sure you put a little vlog in there. So thank you for like encouraging me because I sure was not thinking about a vlog like that. You know what I mean? But thank you, Ebony. Y'all check her out. She is amazing. Her content is amazing. But yeah, I think that is it. I'm going to go ahead and put my clothes on and try to get out of here. Y'all, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but... And I'm in the hotel room. I know I'm not at home. Y'all, when I got up this morning, I made my bed like I'm at home. I have to keep all my surroundings clean. Like I done tidied up the room turned the lights off when I got out the bathroom, turned the lights off when I got out the room. Um, like it's like, it's really my light bill, but it's just something instilled in me from when I was a kid. You know what I mean? I have to be organized or else I feel like I'm just, I just feel really confused if I'm not. So everything is like so neat, packed away. The, the bed is made. When I came in, sprayed the bed with some Lysol, like, y'all, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. But anyway, I don't want to talk y'all head off. There will be a lot of B-roll in this vlog, giving y'all the views, you know. I don't vlog a lot because I don't go out much, but I'm going to give y'all some views. Let y'all see what's going on. Y'all pray for me. I'm going to be taking my tripod to the Bellagio so I can get some pictures and stuff on my own. Because I don't trust these people out here with my stuff. They might run away with it or charge me a fee <laughs> to take my pictures or videos. So I'm going to do it on my own. I'm just going to be doing everything on my own. Y'all, it's nothing wrong with doing things on your own. You don't always have to have people with you to do things. Like you can, you know... Vibe out by yourself, honey. Okay. Chain swing, diamonds blank. Hold up. Pistol swing, gang bang. Hold up. Niggas acting like groupies. They don't know us. Little do they know they bitches fucking on the toilet. We been all night. Love. Looking at me and getting a tattoo. I want a tattoo so bad, so this is gonna be a 
trial to say. <laughs> So let me tell y'all about my day. Okay, so first off, I took the Deuce bus. It cost me $8 to um, get a 24-hour pass. And that's better than getting a lift. It's $21 go and come. So it would have cost me like $43 with tax. When you can just take the Deuce bus and it'll pick you up in front of the hotel and drop you right off at the front of the strip. If you're looking at something more cost effective, definitely get on the Deuce bus. I just wanted to get on there because I've never been on there. They do, they have um, two levels. So I just wanted the experience. And so I went to the Botanical Gardens at the Bellagio. If you're a girl's girl like me, go. No question about it, just go. Like it's so beautiful. And I think they change the flowers around every season so gorgeous i've been here like two or three times and i've never been to the bellagio the botanical gardens but tiktok put me on and that's another thing if you're traveling get on tiktok and look at some recommendations and then so i went to my favorite restaurant here it's called gin girl i had so much food and i could not bring it with me could not bring it with me. It was so, so good. Had me some good food, some lemonade, some water. And I got this temporary tattoo. You guys probably saw the footage. I gotta wash this off, but it's peeling right now. Like by the time I got to Jen, it started peeling. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. She said it's gonna be faded for about 12 hours. And then after that, it'll pop up like, you know, like how it is like really black. I can't wait for that, but I've always wanted a henna tattoo, got one. I definitely want a real tattoo tattoo, like on my wrist right here with a Bible verse. So that's what I want to do. I went upstairs to see the view. Y'all know I'm at the Strat, so that view is so damn windy up there. But um, I think I... And I'm just telling you guys, it's just in case y'all are traveling, you know, just in case you're wondering, if you stay in the Strat Hotel, you do get a discount to go upstairs. So I think it cost me like $10 or somewhere around that range, $10 to $16. But if you don't have a room here, I think it is like $25 to $30. Not bad, but it's really windy. And you know, they got the rides and all that, baby. I'm not doing all of that. Not after eating all this food at gin, okay? not doing that but i passed by the pool area it's closed the pool is open from 10 to 7 if you're wondering so i'm thinking about going there tomorrow i'm not sure what i'm doing tomorrow because i feel like i feel like i just wanna i feel like i just want to chill you know but i might go up there and just you know catch some sun and some vibes 
You know what I mean? So, but yeah, that is it, y'all. I'm about to go take a shower and I'll try to check in with y'all tomorrow. That's just how we Good morning, y'all. It is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. Just know you guys are doing an amazing job no matter what. Okay, remember that. No matter what anyone says, you're awesome. You're amazing. Keep doing your thing, okay? Um, it is currently 6 o'clock and my flight leaves at 9 26 i have a layover in dallas and then i'll be in jacksonville around 7 p.m so it's gonna be a long day but i'm gonna get some sleep and excuse my eyes y'all i i promised myself that i would not be one of those people that come out here and cry but um yeah i just had one of those moments because you know, it's Mother's Day. My sister texts me and she's going through, you know, health, you know, battles at the moment. And I'm just like thinking about everything like she has kids and then everything I, I've been through, you know, this year alone. It's like, you know, it did something to me. And I'm not a crier. Like, I, I don't cry like that. I think um, this year alone, I've cried the most I've cried in my life. In this year, in 2014, <sighs> the most I've ever cried is in this year, 2024. Yeah, I'm not a crier at all. But yeah. Anyway, um, but about this trip, y'all. This trip was so needed. I thank God for traveling mercies. I thank God for keeping me. Um, everything that I have right now, everything that's happening now is uh, is what I prayed for so I thank God like everything you guys when I tell you everything that I journaled while I was a single mom um is what I have now my husband is amazing um my my relationship with God has been strengthened especially because of everything that I've been through I've definitely um gained i definitely my, my faith in god has definitely grew so i think thank god for that but um this trip was needed i'm not the type of person to have a whole lot of friends never been that way um always been kind of like a loner so that's one thing y'all probably don't know about me but um that's why i was so comfortable on this trip but still it was kind of like you know nerve-wracking at first because i never traveled alone like you know what i mean but let me tell y'all, ain't nobody in Vegas paying attention to you. Ain't nobody in Vegas paying attention to you. Girl, I had the tripod, the big old tripod. I wish I could show y'all this tripod. It's not one of those small ones where you can just fit in your purse. It's, it's the real deal, what I record my videos with. So I had that. Ain't nobody, they looked for like a second and they kept walking, you know, but Vegas is what you make it. If you want to be out here and party all your whole entire trip, Vegas never sleeps. You do what you do. If you want to be out here and you want to, you know, just chill, you get a hotel, you go to the spa, go to the pool, you know, do what I did. You know, go to the bot botanical gardens and just do what you do. You know, it is what you make it. So. I know everybody say Vegas is Sin City, you know, party city, but you make it what you want to make it, you know. So that's another thing. But I love Vegas, y'all. Vegas is amazing. Um, I want to move out here. I keep telling my husband I want to move out here. <laughs> but um, I hope y'all like the vlog. I know I didn't do too much. The purpose of this trip wasn't to do too much. I just wanted to decompress, you know, 
and um, there will be more hauls to come and I've definitely been journaling trying to think of different things to do on my channel so there is more to come so thank y'all for coming this far with me thank y'all for sticking around and if you made it this far in the video thank you so much I love y'all but I just threw this on so I could talk to y'all real quick I know y'all can probably see it behind me um, I'm gonna get dressed I'm just gonna wear some jeans and a t-shirt and some dad sandals and that's it um i had to put some lashes on because i yeah it's something about not having lashes on I, I have to have lashes on but maybe i need to start learning how to do my own lashes you know i got lash glue on my my finger so sorry if you guys seen that anyway like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and don't forget to you know do something for yourself sometimes you know it's it's perfectly fine to be that person to take care of your family take care of your friends but you also have to take care of yourself because if you're not good you won't be good for anybody else you know what I mean even if it's a day at the spa a day in your own city at a different host um, at a hotel do that you know do whatever you got to do to just get away because we need that mental clarity after everything we go through in life especially as women we hold the household down y'all already know we hold it down okay so um yeah y'all just don't forget about yourself don't lose yourself being a mom don't lose yourself being a wife always you know keep 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 yourself up you know but i'm gonna leave y'all with that i'm gonna go ahead and throw my clothes on my bags are already packed so that's it y'all hope y'all enjoyed the vlog all right that's just how it is. Just how we